Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create this sick cutout freeze frame effect in After Effects, let's go. What's up guys, my name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned today, we're gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create this sick freeze frame cutout effect in After Effects. This effect is based off the Lyrical Lemonade, another late night music video with Drake and Lil Yachty. It's a really sick effect that's used briefly in the video and it really just helps add a more grainy and authentic feel to the music video effects. Today, all you'll be needing is After Effects and an overlay preset linked below in the description. But before we hop into the tutorial, if you guys are interested in spicing up your music video effects and speeding up your editing workflow, definitely make sure to check out 11% net there we seriously spill all the sauce on how to create sick dope visual effects we have preset packs ranging from title cards all the way to chrome 3d overlay effects it's really dope easy stuff that you can literally just drag and drop onto your videos and the best part yet is these are actually really high quality presets that will really help you save your time on edits so if you're interested make sure to check out 11%.net in the description that's how you guys support me and allow me to keep going and making free tutorials for you guys on youtube so really if you could check out the store it really mean a lot to me without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial all right guys so now that we're inside of After Effects. I have this clip of Drake loaded up. Funny thing, we actually used this clip in our last tutorial. If you haven't seen, make sure you can check it out here at this link. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we are, of course, going to go ahead and rotoscope. Rotoscope, 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 most powerful tool on After Effects. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you really quickly how to do it, but we also do have a really quick five minute rotoscope 101 basics tutorial, which is also linked right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click this clip. I'm gonna get this roto rush icon right here in the top left hand corner. We're just gonna simply color over Drake. Now, if the roto brush selects anything that you don't want, you can hold option or alt to turn the roto brush red and it will just deselect those areas. So I'm just drawing a very simple basic selection of Drake right here. Now, once you have your first initial selection of your subject, then what you're simply just gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and drag along the timeline and you see After Effects is gonna do a pretty good job of selecting the rest of our subject. If it does mess up at any points or misses a selection, you can just simply color over that area to just correct it. And with that, After Effects has done a pretty good job of tracking our rotoscope selection. Once you're done, you're just gonna go ahead and hit the freeze icon right here and that'll basically just lock in our rotoscope effect. Now, one quick key thing I wanna mention, if you do not are unable to rotoscope and you see this giant yellow arrow right here and it says like frame rate mismatch, unable to like do edit the composition, all you have to do is come over here to your composition, you hit composition settings and you're just basically gonna change this frame rate to the exact frame rate listed on the yellow error. It's just a really common error. I stumbled upon it a lot when I first started out and it just completely stumped me. Definitely make sure to remember to change your composition settings to the exact composition frame rate as your video footage. Just a really quick rule of thumb. And now once you have your first rotoscope layer, our subject rotoscope, we're just come back to our main comp. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to duplicate this layer by hitting Command D. Now, this bottom layer, I guess we should have done this before, but you know, whatever. This bottom layer that we have the duplication on, we're just gonna go ahead and delete the rotoscope so we have a nice base layer. And now the top layer is gonna be the rotoscope layer. So I'm gonna rename the top layer and I'm gonna call this Drake Roto. Boom, there we go, okay. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to just go ahead and duplicate our top Drake Roto layer two more times or honestly however many times that you want to have a freeze frame effect so i plan to have two freeze frames so i'm just going to duplicate it two more times so you can see we have the main roto and then drake roto two and three so now what we're going to do is very simple task we're just going to select the freeze frames that we want to to freeze so i'm going to say like right here i would like to freeze this frame all right guys so now what i'm going to do is i'm simply just going to select the freeze frames that i want to to freeze the frame at so i'm just going to go ahead on my timeline i'm going to hold shift and I'm just gonna select my top two rotoscope layers and I'm just going to trim them to the freeze frame point. So that's gonna be one freeze frame. And then this next freeze frame, I'm gonna do about right here. And then instead of holding shift and selecting both freeze frames, I'm just gonna drag the top one and select it right there. So now we basically have this nice trimmed up layer footage that we're gonna freeze all of our frames at. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to both of these layers right here. I'm gonna go start at the beginning frame and I'm just going to first initially select the bottom Drake Roto layer two. I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna hit time and I'm gonna hit freeze frame right there, boom. Now we get this nice little square freeze frame icon. I'm gonna to go to the second layer, I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna hit time and I'm gonna hit freeze frame again. So now we have these two freeze frozen frame layers. The only problem right now is that the rotoscope continues to rotoscope 
uh, drake away. So it's, it's a problem because the frame is frozen, but the rotoscope is not. So to fix that, what we're just gonna basically do is I'm just going to simply go ahead and delete the rotoscoping for both of these layers right here. So I'm just deleting these rotoscope layers right here. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just going to double tap this layer again, and I'm just simply going to redraw that rotoscope frame right here on our Drake again. And now once it is rotoscope my first layer, my frozen frame, I'm just gonna simply hit freeze and after effects is just gonna freeze the rotoscope layer right there and voila now if you come back to our main composition we have a nice frozen drake layer right here and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do the exact same thing for the second layer so i'm just going to double click it i'm going to get my roto brush tool and i'm just going to simply rotoscope drake out again so we're just going to rotoscope him like that Boom. there you go just a very very simple rough mask it's good that we have a nice dark scene right here so you can't really see a lot of the errors but I honestly, another part of this effect I recommend is having a moving shot. So where your subject is moving across this frame or just like walking or anything like that, that would just help create a better effect. So now once you have that, I'm just gonna hit freeze again. And now it's just going to freeze that frame in for us and boom, there we go. Now we have some nice frozen frames. So now if you play this out, you can see we have some nice frozen Drake frames right here. And now the fun part is to actually animate this. So you can see we have the frozen frames, but there's just kind of stay stuck and stagnant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the drop down on both of these layers. I'm gonna hit the drop down on transform and I'm going to hit a scale keyframe and position keyframe at the beginning of the freeze frame clip right here. And then I'm gonna come down to the very end of the clip right here. And I'm just going to basically hold shift and scale down my subject uh, to match the camera movement. So I'm scaling Drake down to the original size of Drake. And I'm just gonna kind of move him all the way over here to the right end of the frame. So that way when you play it out, you can see he freezes and he kind of just stays there. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other frozen frame. So I'm gonna hit the drop down on transform. I'm gonna hit a position and scale keyframe at the very beginning, at the beginning of this frozen frame clip. I'm gonna come all the way down to the very end I'm going to hold shift, scale them down just a tad bit, and then I'm going to drag them over here to the right as well. So then that way, when you play out this clip, we see we have two frozen Drake frames that just kind of pop out of him. And it's, it's honestly looking kind of cool, but there's still one last final thing that we have to do to spice up this effect and just make it completely wrapped up and tied in all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all the drop downs. I'm going to hold shift and just select everything in our entire timeline, right click it and pre-compose. I'm going to hit pre-com. You can just name this whatever final edit. Boom. There we go. Now we have this nice pre-comp layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my effects and presets and I'm going to search for posterize time. So I'm gonna drag this posterize time effect to our layer and I'm just gonna drop the frame rate to something about like 11, 11%. And now you can see if we play that out, we have this nice frozen stop motion looking effect. It's already starting to look pretty good and pretty similar to the original edit. But one last final thing that we have to do, of course, is add in some textures. Now shout out to my boy Creative Flow for his dropping his paper textures pack absolutely insane preset pack usually i plug preset packs at my own store but today's video i'm seriously going to hand it over to him now definitely make sure to go check out creativeflowmarket.com right here my friend andrew over here runs creative flow and he does absolutely insane preset pack so he has this really dope paper texture effect pack and it's super easy to use it's under here at his shop right here it's this mixed media texture pack it's absolutely insane super high quality so i definitely recommend you use it um, if not you can of course go ahead and download some free paper textures on the internet but honestly i really recommend getting his pack it's absolutely insane it saves me so much time so i'm going to go ahead and drag his number 14 paper overlay right here to the effect so now this is just basically a paper texture right here that just plays out you can see it just has some grain on it and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the mode and i'm going to change it from normal to screen and then what i'm going to do is because it's still a little bit too much grain i'm gonna hit the drop down on transform and i'm just going to drop the opacity to like 50 percent and now you can see if we play that out voila we have our nice final effect it's starting it looks really insane we have this nice paper texture and drake is kind of frozen in this nice stop motion effect and that is pretty much the final effect now in the cole bennett music video it's like a split screen and you can like chop it up and have two of them at going at once and that's another way to create a cool effect but honestly overall this is looking pretty good almost one last effect i forgot to add is we're going to come back to our effects and presets and we search for this effect it's called 
like and subscribe oh my god this effect is not oh it's not an effect like and subscribe is a button that's under this youtube video so if you would really mind smashing the like button hitting subscribe it's free all this content is free and plus you get more free tutorials like this in the future notified every time we drop so really guys that's how you support me that's how you keep me going it means the world and with that guys here is the final result if you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any value or help from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free. All this content is free, so really it means the world to me. And once again, if you're interested in really taking your visual effects to the next level, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. We're seriously dropping crazy preset packs there every month. Absolutely insane stuff, and it's super easy to use. For most of the packs, it's literally just drag and drop. Which, by the way, we also just dropped our new paint stop motion preset pack. It's super easy and super fun to use. And especially for effect like the one we created today, the paint preset pack would really help enhance and spice up these effects. So really, if you have about two minutes of your day, if you check out 11percent.net it really mean the world to me once again thank you guys so much for watching if you guys had any questions comments or concerns throughout the entire tutorial definitely make sure to leave a comment down below i love to hear what you guys have to say and also if you know of any effect ideas that you'd like to see us make a tutorial on seriously i love to hear you guys thoughts once again thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video peace